Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that is? <laughs> that is a breakfast burrito from a little restaurant here in San Antonio, New Mexico. Unfortunately, they got the place for sale. I don't remember the name of it. Let me see if I can see it. Uh, it's right down this street here. Uh, it's called something Crane. See it right down there? It's that, that red roof, that little building there. Just as you come into San Antonio, New Mexico, turn right on Pino South Street South, and you'll get right to it. But anyway, back to the burrito. And why am I here anyway? Well, I got up this morning at Elephant Butte, and I thought, hell, it's going to be another warm day. And I was going to head to Koshidi because I had reservations there. And I thought, well, and then I saw this sign that says 380, you know, to Carrizozo off of Interstate uh, 25. Shit, I thought, hell, I'll just go back to, to, Car to Capitan, you know, get back in the cool weather there. So anyway, let's put this in the, let's put this, close this up. Well, that's, and that's, it's got bacon, uh, green chilies, cheese, egg, potatoes. And I'm not sure there's anything else. Everything in the kitchen. And it weighs about a pound. But I'm putting it there because I'm not going to eat it right now. I'm going to have it for lunch. But anyway, now i got to get up here in the front and put this camera in the holder without cutting it off like I did last time, right? Bing, got it. And now, let's see how far it is to... Uh, how far is it from San Antonio, New Mexico to... Capitan, New Mexico. Okay, it's 84 miles, so it's 60 miles, 64 miles to Carrizozo, which, so I got plenty of gas for that. So anyway, uh, I was, was going to get me a soda water. So, it shows a regular unleaded here, 4.59 a gallon, so you don't want to buy gas here, that's for damn sure. But anyway, yeah, I just I was just sitting there thinking this morning. I thought, you know, I'd go to Cochiti, it's a little cooler, and then I drive down the highway just listening to music, and I saw that sign. I thought, well, hell, I'll pull in here and get me maybe something to snack on. And uh, and then I got here, and I thought, shit, I'm just going to go all the way back to Capitan and cancel all the reservations and enjoy my life the hell the way I want to. Anyway, so let's start this puppy up. I'm going to go over to this little store, if y'all want to hang on with me, and see if they got a a sodi. If I can, I'm going to pull forward on this side and then I'll walk across the highway. And y'all be, I'll park where you can read that sign. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you something to do because it'll probably take me three minutes to do this. Uh, be sure I got my car and stuff out of the street. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, hang on, guys. This will be a real exciting video. You'll get to stare. This is San Antonio, New Mexico, and uh, it's right off 3. When you turn off 25 going towards Carrizozo on 380, it's just right here, on, just right here, man. Let me go see what they got. I'll be, I'll be right back. I may not post this video anyway, but anyway, it'll take me a couple minutes. I'll be right back.
Got me a good old soda here. They didn't have Diet Dr. Pepper, but they had Diet Coke. So I got a Diet Coke, and now I got to make room for it here and my stuff. So I got to move this. I know y'all are enjoying this. <laughs> How many people would do a stupid video like this? Not many. Why? Because they ain't got no coup. That's why. But anyway, I'm going to just be a second here, guys. I only got two places to put stuff up there. And I got three things. And if I, well, I can't do that. If I put that in the sink, it will ride there. Okay. Now, on with the video, guys. Take eight. Oops, where's my keys? No keys. No, Mr. Bill. We got keys, baby. Old dad's got keys. You know, what a great decision that is. I feel good all over. You know, I'm going to go back to Capitan. It's cool there. I know that. And, uh, huh. Why didn't I think of that as an option? Well, sometimes I make plans, and by God, I just kind of stick to them. But we've been out. I've been out on the road about a week or so. That's nothing. Oh, we got a car. We got 17 cars coming. Actually, we got two. I'd use, I use the news media philosophy, and, 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 and that's what you call a slight exaggeration. But here we go, guys, on our way to Capitan on Highway 380 East. We cross the Rio Grande River right up here, and they tell me that here the Rio Grande has plenty of water. I talked to a farmer here. He irrigates out of this thing, and uh, yeah. It's a cute little town, San Antonio, New Mexico. I even thought about living here. I checked on places for sale and different things. And uh, we got a bed and breakfast there. I'm giving you a real update here on San Antonio, New Mexico. So here we go, guys. How about that? Yeah, I'll be home in two hours or so. And how about it? And then I'll have my, I think I may save my burrito for, well, you can't save it too long, can you? A little rough here on this railroad crossing here and I got to get the air conditioner pointed at me instead of somewhere else and man I'm loving this radio guys I'm loving the radio on the radio whoa <laughs> I let it let it go Rusty let that dog hunt boy let that dog hunt so on and on we go guys the where we stop, we never know. But yeah, this is good. I'm, I'm heading back. I'll end up losing about $30 on cancellation fees. Is that a problem? Hell no. I just spent, sheesh, uh, let's see, to go up there and back. Let's see, it would have been uh, about 500 miles, 50 gallons. I just spent $200 on gas. So, I look at it this way. I, I made I made a net savings, but I didn't get to go where I, I was planning on going. Okay, what do we got here? Is this the Rio Grande here? Let me look. It says Rio Grande. We're crossing the Rio Grande River right now, and I don't see anyone. What did he say? It was water here. Did he lie to me? This thing's dry as a bone. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a little water there. Not a hell of a lot. It looks like it's about two inches deep. <laughs> anyway, here we go, guys. This is old Rusty78609 just leaving San Antonio, New Mexico with a big old breakfast burrito. It weighs about a pound. It's loaded with cheese and bacon and egg and potato and green chilies. And never had it so good, guys. I've never had it so good. Yep, and I don't have to be in any damn hurry at all, not that I was in a hurry before. But yeah, this just works out, man. I feel good. I'm, I'm, I'm re-energized, you know what I mean? Yeah, because the thing that was getting me was the heat at Elephant Butte. It was, it was just hot, man. It was in the mid to upper 90s. It looked like it was going to be that the next few days, and I thought, shit, you know, I don't have to be here. You know, and if I have to pay a little penalty to get out of here, I'm going to do it. So that's where I, that's why I was going to go to Coach Edie uh, 
was because it was a little cooler there and then I was going to go on up to Heron Lake and spend a few days and then come back to Capitan. But now I have just circumvented or changed or modified that plan dramatically and I'm just going to go to Capitan today and I feel damn good about it. Why? I don't know. It's home. It's kind of home. Home again. Home. E.T. go home. Remember the movie E.T.? You know, I went in there, I got this soda water. I, of course, I was being nice. I, I wanted to do business locally there, you know, like get stuff and spend some money. And I did. You know, but the, the soda water, the soda water was, it, they didn't have refills. It was a dollar and 85 cents. Mm. But it tastes better than a, than a dollar soda water, I will say that. It tastes about 85 cents better. You can taste the difference. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding you. You're not kidding me. I'm not kidding you. So here we go, guys. We're walking along here at Warp 17. Or no, whoa, 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 whoa. We're at Warp 3. 50 miles an hour. It looks like I'm leading a parade. <laughs> Who's the leader of the band that's made for you and me? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Mickey Mouse. The Mouseketeers, remember those? I remember. I, I, I was a little too old for the. I don't know if I was too old or just. I thought the, I thought the mouse ears were stupid. Okay. I never had a pair. I know people that did, though. I sure do. Yeah, but they still got them on. Okay. Everybody said, golly, that guy from Texas sure is driving slow. Well, I'm driving the speed I want to drive, but I moved up now. I'm at warp three and an eighth. I'm at 55 miles an hour now. That's just, that's it, baby. We're maxed out here, guys. If you're in a hurry behind me, you're just going to have to live with that. But you go through some pretty good hills here, and we pass by the Trinity site where they uh, desi designated, detonated. Yo, that's to get real, man. Where they detonated the atomic bomb in August, I think, of 1946. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Here comes one up. Zoom! There's got to be more. Yep, here's another. I think, I think there was just two. I slowed down to let them pass. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the traffic. And so now we can just cruise, 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 uninterrupted. Did I need that soda water bill, though? Why did I get it? I don't know. I just had to, I just wanted, I, actually I just wanted to walk across the street into that little building that I have passed by a number of times. They sell ice cream in there, all different flavors of ice cream, believe it or not. And apparently they do pretty good. They've been there a long, 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 long time. And they also sell pastries, you know, sweet stuff. And I thought about getting some of that, but my God, this soda water is probably not, well, I don't know. It's part, this thing is part diet and part root beer. I hear something rattling. What is, oh, it's this cup. So, guys, on the road again, but we're making a big loop. All we did was make a big loop. If you look at the map, we went to Alamogardo to Oliver Lee for a while and got this radio. That makes the whole trip worthwhile. Getting that radio fixed, that makes that that justifies the entire trip totally. But anyway, we stayed in Oliver Lee for I don't know five, six, seven days, whatever it was. Then we moved over to Elephant Butte, two days, too hot, and uh, yeah, that's life. That's it. And the temperature right here shows to be 84, so that means in Captain right now it's probably 75. But it'll be cooler. I know that. I know that, and I got water and electric there, the place I, I was going to coach Edie, the Corps of Engineers thing, and they have sites that are most of the time, that are available most of the time, and they just have electric, uh, there's water available, but they just have electric, and you can get one of those nearly any time, so I did that, and, and then, if I hadn't seen that sign, it said 380 Carrizozo Capitan, or just Carrizozo, I think, I probably would still be headed to go through Albuquerque, which I was not looking forward to at all. On a Saturday morning. So, ha-ha! Woo-hoo! 
I feel good now. But you know, it's, you know, I create these crap. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to do that. You know, I, mean, I, I don't need to go to Heron Lake. Hell, I'm comfortable right where I am in Capitan. But anyway, whenever I get the itch, I'm gonna go scratch it, and I'll still do that uh, now. There's another car behind me. I don't know why he doesn't pass. I guess he will here in a minute. I got cheese in my teeth now. But I saw when I got my my tooth cap from Del Rio at that dentist place a few months ago, there was a t-shirt I almost bought, and it said, only floss between the teeth you want to keep. <laughs> I mean, it was a little briefer than that. Floss. It said, only, yeah, only floss between the teeth, or only floss the teeth you want to keep, or something like that. Yeah. Makes sense. We're passing Fight Ranch Road. F-I-T-E Fight. Yeah, how neat, man. Don't have to be in any damn hurry. What time is it? Well, I'll look at my little Mickey Mouse watch. It shows to be 10.15 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm a good hour and a half. Be right at lunchtime when I get there. And, uh, I got some chicken left. I know y'all are getting the real thing here. I want you to know that. I got a leftover piece of chicken. I had a chicken breast, you know, regular full chicken breast. And, uh, and I cut it into three pieces or three chunks. And, uh, I made, a uh, taco salad out of one of it and then I made a uh, I just had one piece with the chicken with some other stuff and today I was, I'll have a sandwich with the third part so I got three full meals out of one chicken breast I don't eat much man. I don't need much I started a new thing here a few years ago whenever I feel full I stop eating that's it I just stop I mean, if I feel like I'm getting close to full stop. In fact, a good rule for, for you guys that want to keep your weight under control is when, when you're eating a meal uh, and you start to feel full, stop. You know, stop before you feel full if you can do it. You know, just have a few bites and then boom. And if you eat, you know, like three or four small little meals a day, it's better than one or two gorging yourself. You know what I mean? I know, it's amazing how much I know now that I feel better going back to Capitan. <laughs> I'm getting smarter. I'm getting smarter in reverse. Oh, Sparky's back there. That's good. How neat, man. I wonder why I didn't think of that option this morning. Because I was kind of dragging my feet when I was hooking up. or not hooking up, but putting up car on the car dolly thing. Oh, man, I don't want to go through Alamogordo. I'm not too excited about Coach E again. There's not much to do there. You can't go to Tent Rocks because they got them closed. Uh, and going to Santa Fe is not exactly a thrilling thing for me to do driving the traffic. And then I was going to have to go around and up through the mountains to Lord. It's, the place I was going to is about, I don't know, 20 miles from Chama, New Mexico. Yeah, it's up in the elevation. It's about 7,500 feet at the campground here. Heron Lake. It's a pretty place. No kidding. I, have I ever been there? No, I just watched some YouTube video. Oh, goodness. I'm going home. I've done my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a fun video. I'm having fun. 20 minutes. Let's let it go. We can do anything we want to, right? We're free spirit. I actually had uh, a website one time, and I let it uh, lapse. And the name of the thing was freetodoanything.com. Yep. I didn't. I never used it. I mean, I got the, what, what do they call it? The, the, the site, or what do they call it? And I let it go. I thought it was a neat name. So we'll get over this hill here and I'll, but no, that, that, I think the Trinity site's not too far. I hope they're not detonating another one, not detonating another one today. That would not be exciting. You know, something else, I, I'm interrupting myself, isn't that weird? Uh, when they detonated 
the atomic bomb here in 1945, 46, whatever it was, they did not know when the chain reaction would stop. They weren't sure if it would ever stop. I mean, they weren't 100% sure. They, they were 98% sure. But anyway, so they did detonate it, and then they weren't sure how much radiation it was going to put out and how far that deadly radi radiation, how much of an area it was going to cover. So there were people in here in this area of New Mexico that were basically guinea pigs that were being tested before the explosion and after to see how much radiation they had absorbed, you know, from the atmosphere or whatever. It's like dust, I think. Yeah. But we're, we're a very humane nation, and then we go drop it on a, another nation, and you're going to get into the debate, well, it ended the war early, da 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 Anyway, enough said. I wish we'd never invented the day. I wish nobody would have ever invented any of that crap. Why? I don't know. It makes good conversation. It's a good debate. I think the Trinity side is right up here, actually. If it's not, I'll end the video. It looks like there's a gate. It's got kind of an interesting gate. Adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want anytime. Uh, use the Amazon link. Doesn't cost you a penny. Stretch walk. Keep your health, guys. Stay away from radiation and all that crap, huh? Still all got old Sparky back there. So enjoy your life, keep your health, and stand guard at the door of your mind. Adios, guys. Ah, what a relief. <laughs>